Certainly. Building a REST API is a great way to create a service that allows different software systems to communicate over HTTP. Here's an informative guide to help you understand the process. NAR1. Understand the basics of REST. REST, representational state transfer, is an architectural style for designing networked applications. It relies on a stateless client-server communication model and uses HTTP methods, get, post, put, delete, to perform operations on resources. Resources, these are the data or services your API provides. Endpoints, URLs that represent the resources. HTTP methods, actions to perform on resources, e.g. get to retrieve, post to create, put to update, delete to remove. Shopper 2, plan your API. Before you start coding, plan your API. Define resources. Identify what resources your API will manage. For example, in a library system, resources might be books, authors, and genres. Design endpoints. Decide how clients will access these resources. For example, so books, authors, ID, etc. Determine data format. Most REST APIs use JSON for data interchange, but you might also use XML or other formats. Three, choose a technology stack. Select technologies and tools to build and manage your API. Programming language, Python, JavaScript, Java, Ruby, etc. Framework. Framework. Node.js, Django, Python, Spring Boot, Java, etc. Database, MySQL, PostgreSQL, MongoDB, etc. if your API needs to store data. API documentation. Tools like Swagger, OpenAPI can help document your API for easier use and maintenance. 4. Set up your development environment. Prepare your environment for development. Install dependencies. Install your chosen programming language and framework. Set up version control. Use Git for source control to track changes and collaborate. Configure development tools. Set up a local server, database, and any additional tools you'll need. Hash for five. Implement your API. Create your API based on your design. Define routes. Set up routes that map to your endpoints. Handle requests. Implement logic to handle incoming requests and perform operations on your resources. Manage responses. Format and send responses back to the client, including error handling and status codes. Six, test your API. Ensure your API works correctly. Unit testing. Write tests for individual functions or components. Integration testing. Test how different components of your API work together. Manual testing. Use tools like Postman or Curl to test your API endpoints. 7. Document your API. Good documentation helps users understand how to interact with your API. Endpoint descriptions. Explain each endpoint, including methods, parameters, and responses. Examples. Provide sample requests and responses. Error codes. Document possible errors and their meanings. 8. Deploy your API. Once your API is ready, deploy it. Choose a hosting service. Options include cloud providers, AWS, Azure, Heroku, or your own server. Set up continuous integration, continuous deployment, CICD, automate testing and deployment processes. 9. Monitor and maintain your API. After deployment, keep your API running smoothly. Logging. Implement logging to track API usage and issues. Monitoring. Use tools to monitor performance and uptime. Updates. Regularly update your API to fix bugs and add features. By following these steps, you'll be able to design, build, and manage a REST API that serves as a reliable and effective means of communication between different